Hello. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it's a fucking brilliant thing to be here today. It, this, this is definitely a shrine to Iron Maiden. Definitely the first place they played that was public. And so, it's Paul Mario Day. Day. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. What did he stand? Oh, it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot in the 32 years I've been here. I've had a walk around, I've been happy and I've been quite sad, disappointed, all mixed feelings. But my main reason for being is to say goodbye to England. Bye bye England. Because um, I ain't going to get the opportunity, I think, financially to come back. And uh, living in Australia, I made that choice. Musically, a wrong choice, but a place to live, the right choice. But. Uh, all this wasn't really planned by me, it was planned by Steve Loopy Newhouse and he's made all this possible so I thank him and, and Mike Chullock uh, for that. Uh, I've rehearsed, I'm going to give the best I can for everybody that's here. Um, yeah, and, and I'm kind of really bloody nervous, I'm not used to it. Yeah, I'll even wanting more. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. we've. There'll be enough, there'll be enough, but I'm sure we can make it up as we go along if they want even more. But um, I'm just surprised how, what, what can I say, obsessive the Iron Maiden fans are and how well behaved. Uh, having met Steve Harris again for, for the first time in probably close to 40 years, how much that like the time has just disappeared in between. It's like the same guy I remember and it is is behind this as well me doing this. And uh well I'm not the sort of person that likes the limelight, but it's it's I'm very pleased with it and I feel it's a privilege to sing to people that that want to actually be here and be part of it. So it's gotta be a great time for everybody, I'm sure of that and I'm going to do my damn best to give them a value for money and give them something to remember because this is going to stay with me to my dying day. Absolutely. And as it says on the sign behind you, at the Cart and Horses, which is one of the places it all started, well, the early gigs. Uh, we were discussing this yesterday and as far as I'm concerned, we've done two gigs in a private place, Iron Maiden. This was the first paying customer gig, you know, the first public performance of Iron Maiden. And I was the first singer, so I should know that. Uh, and if there's any arguments about where was the first, I swear, Cart and Horses was the first and continuing gigs. So if there's any confusion, Cart and Horses was the first place. And the great thing is that they're keeping the, the legacy and the memory alive. There's that picture of you on the wall if you go yeah. to the main bar as well. That must invoke some real feelings. That's well, a picture when you walk in. Because of how I feel about the music industry and, and my history in music, I kind of said no to in, interviews and all that back in the old days. Castro was the first one that I really took to heart because he was interested in the first beginnings of Iron Maiden. So I said, I'm gonna do this one. And I didn't know I was coming at that time. So Castro actually, through his um, effort and persuasion, was that, you know, uh, I, I gladly sent, uh, received the, the poster to sign and sent it back. So. And then probably a couple of months later, I found out I was able to come here. And then obviously everybody else just rallied together and made this day possible. I basically come to say goodbye to England, goodbye to my parents and goodbye to my friends. Fantastic. It's going to be a great day. I'm it's, sure. It's, uh, I mean, you, you, you've given so much for your time today. There's, there's fan Q&A, there's performance, there's a signing session all the way through to the evening. So for Metal Talk and for everyone here, just want to thank you for coming and uh, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've been on stage, you've met loads of fans, 
what did today mean to you now that you can look back on it? My head knew, my head knew that the audience was important. And the day I found out the heart feels very important. It's, it's, it's weird, it's very unheavy metal, but I'm very emotional. Earlier on you talked about this being a farewell. Having done that, what are your thoughts about that now? It is practically impossible. Practically impossible. But there's whispers. I don't know what else to say from there safely, but yeah, there's whispers in what I thought was impossible was possible. So, again, I want to saw it, I've got to keep on the ground, you know? So when, you, when, you get back, when you get back home to Australia, is, is the desire to get on stage, is that now even stronger? No. Have you done this? When I go back to Australia, it'll go back to zero, because... And I don't want Australia to know this, but... So, I don't want... No. I don't want to say... I just feel this is for home musically and Australia is also my, where my heart is so travelling, that's the bother. Well I think, I think what today's proved is that, is that you're always welcome back here. I know. <laughs> I mean the, the, the extended Maiden family turn up today was just phenomenal. Dave Lights to Luffy to Terry Wapram, you know, all the guys. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I was explaining to these guys, the quick way to explain it's like I was speaking to Steve Lazarus, who people probably know <laughs> very well. I can't remember him in the past, but we met and uh, he was interviewing me, and I, and I said for the first time, family. Yeah. I feel like the family of Iron Maiden, but now I feel their family too. Yeah. We're all hippie. <laughs> but I mean, that's it. it, it was headlined as, as Paul Mario Day Day, but it really is a day for, for the fans as much as it is for you, which it's, is great. It's for the East End as well. Yeah. It's for the East End, you know. We all need a shot in the arm, and the East End, I think, needs it having travelled. You know? I guess it starts with the people, because you'll be waiting forever, wouldn't you? Yeah. So finally, before you, we, we close off, any, any message for those that weren't able to come, around, come down today? I think you missed something that's historical. I really do. And I'm very modest. <laughs> I think it was historical for everybody. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Like I said, I was in a dark place and I'm in a light. And we've been talking about how realistic them emotions are, you know. Yeah. Getting close to me mum. Loving my brother, loving my mum, loving, loving her husband, you know, it's just... Distance makes the art grow fonder as well as absence. And we've all met up and I think that's what it is, we've really embraced it. It's, it's quite powerful and... I think I've said enough. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for making this a great day. I hope that word's stupid. It sort of comes from the art morning. No. You alright? That's perfect. Thank you yeah. so much, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was that was amazing. It was nice to oh, get that out.